Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knocking rings, letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. He's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Hello, Ajay. Is something wrong? Aye, Pat. The rocket's going nowhere today. Why not, Ajay? The starting lever's broken. I should have checked it. And now I've got to wait until tomorrow for the new one to be delivered. Oh, dear. Hello, Pat. Morning, Ajay. Yeah. I've got a special little passenger for you. Meet Cedric. <laughs> He's a racing pigeon. Yeah. He can find his way home from anywhere. If he's such a great flyer, why does he need to ride on the train? Well, he's got to go to the vet in Pencaster for a health check before his next race. Sorry, Alf. I can't take Cedric anywhere today. The Greendale rocket's out of action. Oh, dear. If he isn't checked, he can't race. And I can't take him over all those hills to Pencaster. Not in my old tractor. I've got an idea. I'll have to take my parcels to Pencaster anyway. So why don't I take Cedric with me? Eee, that's champion. <laughs> Look, Cedric is ready to go. Look after him, Pat. Don't worry, Alf. I will. See you later. <coughs> See you, Cedric. What's up, Arthur? Sorry, Pat. This road's under repair just before the bridge. Oh, no. I'm going to Pencaster that way. You can turn left and go over the hills to Pencaster. It's quite a drive, though. Well, the sooner I start, the sooner I'll get back. Bye, Arthur. Bye, Pat. Look at those beautiful hills. I bet there's not another car around for miles. Oh, it's so peaceful. Hmm. Oh, no! Oh, no. We've run out of petrol. Don't worry, Jess. All we have to do is wait for someone to come along and give us a hand. I know, Jess. We have been waiting a long time. It looks like we might be stuck up here all night. Two first-class stamps, please, Mrs Goggins. Is Pat back from Pancaster yet? No sign of him at all, Adji. He should be here by now. Any sign of my pigeon, Mrs Goggins? I thought Pat would have had him home by now. He, it's nearly time for his tea. Your Cedric might miss his tea and his supper and all, Alf. I've had to send Pat the Hillyway to Pencaster. 
Oh, dear. My old dad used to call that route the Maisy Way. You can get lost for days up there. Oh, no. If I'd checked the starting lever on my engine, Pat would never have had to go. Oh, don't worry, Ajay. Pat's probably enjoying a lovely drive. Well, it doesn't look as if anyone is going to come by, Jess. Meow. Looks like we're going to be here for the night after all. Meow. Still, it's a warm evening. We can sleep out under the stars. The main problem is... <laughs> what are we going to eat for our supper? <laughs> oh, yes, and Cedric, too. Looks like we're in a right pickle. Any sign of Dad yet, Mum? I want to play Captain Zap with him. No. I wonder what's happened to him. He's never been this late before. Hello? Hello, Sarah. It's Ajay. I'm afraid it looks like Pat's broken down somewhere. Mrs Goggin just called the Pencaster Depot and Pat didn't show up there at all today. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Don't worry. Alf, PC Selby and I are all going out now to look for him. Oh, dear. A search party? You'll call me as soon as you find him, won't you, Edgy? Don't worry. We will. Bye, Sarah. Bye. There you are, Cedric. All I've found for us is this old biscuit. Have a nibble, Jess. Hmm, not much of a meal. If only I had my fishing rod and some bait. Here, wait a minute. I might be able to make a fishing rod. Ah, there we are. I could use one of these bendy branches as a rod. Some twine from my post bags for the line. And the paper clip for a hook. Come on, Jess. We're going fishing. Caught a catfish already. Until Dad gets back. No, love. You go off to bed. Don't worry. Dad'll be home soon. I hope. was delicious. Meow. Now then, let's try and get some sleep, eh, Jess? Night night. <laughs> what was that? Meow. Oh, silly me. It's only an owl. Night night again, Jess. Meow. <laughs> oh yes, and night night to you too, Cedric. No sign of Pat Alf. Not a sausage. I've been up and down these lanes. Look! There's a light over there. Maybe it's Pat signalling to us. Evening all. Any luck? Oh, it's you, Arthur. We're supposed to be finding Pat, not each other. That's the trouble with the Maisy Way. 
These lanes will have you going round in circles. We'll all end up lost if we're not careful. When that moon goes down, it'll be pitch black out here. It might be best to call off the search till morning. I'm afraid you're right. Wake up, Jess. It's morning. I haven't got much breakfast for us, Cedric. It's a shame you can't fly back home. Here, wait a minute. That's the answer. It was under my nose all the time. Cedric can rescue us. Now, I'm going to draw a quick picture of where we are. And I'll add a little note. Then fold it up very small. Don't you remember, Jess? Alf said Cedric can always find his way home. Now then, a rubber band. Come on, lad. That's it. So, when Cedric arrives home with this message on him, Alf will read it and know exactly where we are. Off you go, Cedric. Straight home. Good luck. Oh, dear. Poor Pat out in the wilds all night. And Cedric, too. Cedric, is that you? It is you. You found your way home. Hey, up. What's this? It's from Pat. S.O.S. I've run out of petrol. Here's a picture of where I am. Come on, Cedric. Let's go and rescue Pat. Ajay, uh, it's Alf. I know where to find Pat. Thank goodness. Can you race up there on your motorbike and take him some petrol? No problem. Good. Now, listen carefully. I'll give you directions. I wonder where Cedric is now. Meow. Listen, Jess. That sounds like... Ajay! Pat! Thank goodness I found you. Are you all right? Fine, Ajay. Am I pleased to see you? Everyone's been looking for you. We got your message. Here's some petrol. Thanks, Ajay. If only the Green Deer rocket had been ready yesterday. I feel like this is all my fault. Nonsense, Ajay. It was my idea to drive over to Pencaster. And we've had a fine old time getting back to nature, haven't we, Jess? Meow. Now you can come straight back to Greendale and tell us all about your adventure. OK, but first I'd better get home to Sarah and Julian. But what about the post? Don't you worry about that. I'll fix up the Greendale rocket this morning and deliver the post to Pancaster later. Thanks, Ajay. Home at last. Dad, oh, you're back. back! You're back! Hello, love. Hi, Julian. Sorry I missed dinner, but I am in time for breakfast, I hope. Oh, Pat. Was it awful? Well, it wasn't so bad. We had a campfire. <laughs> and a fish barbecue. And slept out under the stars, didn't we, Jess? Meow. Really? Dad, if you ever get stuck out in the wilds again... Yes? Can I come with you? It sounds brilliant! Meow. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.